got oh, the, we've got the, the amazing uh, Austin brothers. We've got the amazing Austin brothers. And with us. the guy, you know, from the Happy Mondays. Happy. The guy, no, the guy from he, the Happy Mondays is no, here. No, but he's as well. the happy. He's the Happy Friday guy because you can see him. <laughs> You can see him. Oh, I see. So he's in the Happy Mondays tribute band called the Happy Friday. Happy Friday. He's a Happy Friday. I think. I think. So Ed. So can Terrence, we bring? Can Terrence we bring? Austin, Bez can we bring? <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you come, come, come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come and sit on Frank's lap. Come in. Come in. Come and so, join me. Okay. I, I've got a guest join for you. Podcast. This is unexpected. Um, um, and from the Happy Mondays tribute band, the Happy Fridays, we've got. This is, this You're, is going to be fairly brief. Do you want to put the hat back on? Because that's what really makes the Happy Mondays thing okay, work. Okay. Um, it would help. <laughs> I thought you were in show business. <laughs> right, okay. So did I. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're sorted. But you seem You're to sorted. There he is. It there really is. doesn't look that good, does it? <laughs> <laughs> I, could you, I could give you a bit of a close-up of the guy from oh, the Happy Fridays. Oh, please, yes. So how is the tour going? <laughs> all right, mate. Yeah. All right, all right. All right acted. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific. Great. How, oh. how is the tour of Portugal going? Oh Well, it started in the Algarve and finished in the Algarve. And right, uh, yeah. I never got anywhere further north. <laughs> okay. Right. In actual fact, in case you didn't notice, this is the great artist, Terence Austin. You wouldn't believe it, would you? For <laughs> yeah, what happened to you? <laughs> Mainly alcohol. <laughs> right, uh, formerly of the Silver Coast, and now formerly. and now of the of the Central Portugal. Come a bit closer to the microphone, lovely. I, I, I do. I, <laughs> yeah. I do Come on, you know better than yeah. the most. Yes, All right. I, I do. <laughs> so um, I should do. Tell us how it's going. I mean, you're presumably still selling your wonderful artworks. This is true, but I do um, what people don't understand, and they shouldn't, as I do a lot of other things as well. Oh, I always okay. have done right, okay. a lot of writing, a lot I, of And I've always said this about you, are a Renaissance man. Renaissance man, uh, Leonardo um, DiCaprio. <laughs> in Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get on the table and read. Yes, Come right. on, okay. <laughs> yes. Sell, sell. <laughs> um, uh, I am a Renaissance man. I you think are. because no, you well. told me I am, yeah. and you know that I will believe anything <laughs> that you tell me. Well, no, I keep, I keep reasserting the idea that you're a Renaissance. Keep and reasserting. No, seriously, I believe you to be a Renaissance man. You're, you're amazing with in the mixed media. And uh, as an artist, TerenceAustinArtist.com is where people can find your work. You're a lovely man. Thanks for the plug. Um, yes, that's true. So, uh, meander That's there. not the first time that's been said to me. Thanks for the plug. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm speechless. Um, <laughs> but, no, uh, yeah, like yourself, and I believe this inherently, that you are also a Renaissance man. Thank you. No, not a lot. Not a lot of people understand this, but it's um, one of your gifts. I think I'm lacking in some of the departments. Now, my understanding well, of <laughs> my understanding of Renaissance. Like going there, <laughs> so I'm going there. <laughs> one of my understandings. Haberdashery. <laughs> Third floor, <laughs> right? Uh, what, one of my understandings of being a true Renaissance man, and I think we should be having this conversation in a time of when you know male identity is being is being questioned. Yes, I can see the look of terror on your face. <laughs> Obviously, I'm being you're being drawn <laughs> oh, in. Oh hell, male identity. Mm. <laughs> right. Is that my taxi? No, <laughs> I, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> This wasn't in my contract. Get, get my manager on the phone now. All right. If, if I may draw you into this. Um, you know, the Renaissance man, he's a, he's a painter. He's an artist. He's good in a fist fight. He can, he can sword fight. He can do origami. You know, you are that, you are that guy. I, I'm not so much, is what I would say. Well, um... Oh, look know. at this. I mean, your team have brought you a oh, beer. Geez, thank you. I, I've, I've got to say, this Belgian beer. That's a great Garvo. I've had quite a few. These, these are the Belgian beers. Um, oh, okay, let's, okay, so let's come back I, to I, them. I, 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 
honestly, I feel uncomfortable. You give me so much praise. And Kudos. It's lovely, but yeah. it's entirely undeserved. Oh, no, stop it. No, I'm being honest. Really? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, you are a gifted oh, artist. Being you're being some money. Money. You I'm see? being given there he is. and some money. There he is saying, oh, no, you're, over, <laughs> you're overplaying me. All I need now is suddenly, women. <laughs> yeah, exactly. People are throwing money. People are bringing you beer. And you tell me you're not a, a, a legend. Uh, I, well, no, I'm not. But right. uh, you're a very kind um presenter to feature that but no seriously let's let's be honest um i'm a right git <laughs> well aren't we all I, I imagine that is another that's the dark side of the renaissance man isn't the dark it? side you've got to draw from the dark we, side we all have a shadow yeah, emotional, we all have yeah, a shadow the emotional depths exactly dark, yeah, where would you be dog. how would you bring such depth to your work without those moments of desperation it's a very good point a very good point yeah. um I mean, I'm trying to relate this to, a, you know, people in a kind of wider audience. But uh, if I just sort of like pare it down for a minute. Yeah. That, um, you know, in times of not desperation, but times of uh, uh, soul like searching moments, soul searching. Thank yeah. you. Times of um, looking at the other side of life. It's often the well of creation, the well of, of, of artistry there. Too right. Um, too right, fella. No, no. <laughs> to, to, no, I'm with you all the way. no, I'm trying to figure out a way of bonding in a sort of blokey way. And I think I nailed it there. But I, I, maybe it wasn't quite right. Yeah, I, I mean, you, you may have like uh, sort of skirted that sort of, you know, black dog depression. I'm, I can go no, there. I, I we don't we've... really because I, and I'll tell you why. It would be lovely. Well, it wouldn't be lovely. It'd be very, people would be open the vein, basically. About, yes. You know, well, well, if, I, if I, if I, if I, <laughs> right. You can't go there. You know, you've got to, you've got to. Interesting. You've got to give yourself. There's um, a time and a place. And is that what you're there's saying? There's a time and a place, but yeah. also you've got to inspire people and you've got to elevate um, things, elevate life. You know, yeah, and yeah. look for the good things in life, and look for the positive things in life, and look for the the great things in life. Yeah, yeah. Because if you don't, there's only one way down. You make a good point. You make a very Thank good you. point, and it's kind of, it's it speaks of our Britishness, if I may say so. Hopefully. The, 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 Hopefully. The, the, yeah, like you know, in a time where the barrel is being scraped, you might say, <laughs> looking it's for. Got your name down here. <laughs> That's right. Let me clear. Oh yes. <laughs> No, no, it was his ter, 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 ter. No, no, I, mean, I don't mean, it wasn't a personal attack. It was like, you know, in this age of... You know, I don't mind a personal you know, attack. In the age of the old empires beating their chests and, and, and us, you know, rightly, quite rightly, uh, having a sense of culpability about the past, the baby's getting thrown out with the bathwater and the great qualities of the old cultures are being flushed down the pan with everything else, aren't they? Well, and, and if I may say so about the British culture you know it's always presented as this awful thing is a stiff upper lip we don't talk about those sort of things but what i heard you what i heard you mention there or what i thought you were talking about was like there's a time and a place for everything you know out front front of house is the place to talk about greatness and positivity and good things yeah and and the soul searching it's not that it shouldn't go on it's just that the, the vogue if you like for public and open soul searching is is perhaps a bit it's not very british is it it's like maybe we should do that somewhere else I don't maybe want... maybe it's a more of a personal matter we you know there's nothing wrong with it in fact it's absolutely essential that we search our souls and and in the process of searching our souls in a more intimate and private environment we express what was great from that process in the public arena yeah i mean i think okay I don't know. I, I, I may not have not understood this correctly, but basically, when you are in the public eye, when you are trying to put forward something, why not put forward something positive and awesome? Than, and, and, and awesome. Because, yeah. and, you know, it's, it's a very American word. Awesome. Awesome. I, I don't know whether I pronounced that correctly. Awesome. <laughs> that sounded, sounded Welsh, bit, didn't it? That sounded a bit more like. Uh, they sound a bit ah, more of a pirate. It, it's it? awesome, so it I've, is. I've oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Um, but, you know, awesome, my hearties. Yeah, awesome. What we got to do, right, as pirates, 
<laughs> or people from Devon. <laughs> or people from Devon. S- suddenly, know, people from Devon. As a compliment, you know, because you come from Devon, don't you? But as, <laughs> ah, what we've got to do, right, is not be so self-focused. We've got to look at, outside ourselves, right? And even in situations like this where we're here, right, and we don't, you know, we meet people that we don't know. And we we know. are doing that, aren't we, we tonight? Are doing, Crikey. It's, oh, it's a great event. It's yeah. a tremendous event. It's a wonderful atmosphere here. You, you guys should come down. A guy called Pete has organized it. It's, it's brilliant, right? To say that he's actually done all this, brought it. It's got to be what 100, 150 people together, something like that. And they're all having it's a, incredible what he's done. They're all having a brilliant time. Yeah. You know, uh, they're all meeting up and the atmosphere. I've had some. It's a bit old laughs. school as well, isn't it? It's a bit old school, but it's a bit familiar. Yeah. But it's a bit new. And the thing is, the parallel between everything is your show, the art, is to make people, not make, but encourage people to feel better um to, to raise their game a little bit well he's done that here he's done that here and do you know what the the, the vibe i've got here and I, I sometimes make mention to this it reminds me of my childhood in the uk when i used to go to like a, an 18th birthday party 21st yeah. birthday party a wedding reception yeah it has the and vibe the shorts business. on and every a on. sailor suit <laughs> <laughs> I wish I still had that sailor suit. Yeah, <laughs> Perhaps you could do it on the next one. Huh? For a kilt. Yeah, like Is that a what you're saying? A kilt? Uh, no, I'm not saying a kilt. You're putting words in my mouth. No, you said something about a skirt, I think, didn't you? Did Did I? You? It's basically what a kilt is. Well, um, man's I'm sorry skirt, for, a man's if I, skirt. I'm, I'm sorry but if I you know, you, know, you know the point I'm making, but people, you know, it's not, it's not all people you like, but it's all people from your community. It's, it's the community. The it's family. Getting, it's getting together and it's people... You know, they may not, they, they may not sort of doubt turning up and, but no, turn up, enjoy, have a laugh. Don't worry if, it, you know, the night goes a little bit slow in parts because it'll get better. Yeah. Stick with it. And wow, look what's around we're us. Sat, I mean, we're people... sat under plane trees, aren't we? These beautiful plane trees of Portugal. Well, I'm, I'm going to go sat back. with strangers, aren't we? I've taken a few photographs because when I came in here, no, I walked around. Um, sort of. Well, you're slowly. a bit handy with the old Carl Zeiss Yana, aren't you? Let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm just going to go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I took a few shots, and I thought to myself, it looks like an old master. I want to say an old master. It looks like a Renoir. You said that earlier it, on. It does. The light, the trees, yes. the people. There was a there was an um, American lady putting a fan to her face. Yeah. And all these little um, sort of uh, little close-ups. Well, vignettes. Vignettes, yeah. Sort yeah. of. Um, they, they really, really sing out, you know. Um, and to somebody that's visual, it's a wonderful Which occasion. Which you are, here. of course. It's a feast for you then, oh, being here. Honestly, I could say nothing to no one all night and have still have a great time. Isn't that amazing? It, it's amazing, but no, an event like this, the the old beer festival, I've had a few craft beers. I don't really yeah. like craft beers, I've got to be honest. Really? They always, yeah, they always taste a little bit, what I call Off. nettles. I don't know what it is. <laughs> they always taste the nettles to me, right? But the, there's this one. There's this one from Belgium. What you got? Okay. Like, so how about a bit, little bit of a review then? So you've got the Belgian, okay. the Belgian. <laughs> it smells like beer. The guy, the guy who think, thinks that craft beers tend to taste of nettles. He's <laughs> it's nettles. true, folks. No, no, and I think people can relate to that. You're now, you're now taking a sip of the Belgian the beer. Belgian that's, beer. Okay, there's so a lot on offer. The, the, there's one with coffee in, and it's the strawberry one that, that Frank took one, offense yeah, to. The, I think he called it Frambosa. Yeah, he, he, he really, he really went off on one. He was saying. Frank, he was talking about manginas, all sorts. Man, yeah. uh, at the very mention of a, of a, of a strawberry beer. Frank is such a lot of fun. He Seriously. is. He is um, unreconstructed excellence, isn't he? If that is not an oxymoron. Oh, Frank is Frank. You know, yeah, he's well, a force. That's, he's that's a force true. of nature. <laughs> he is. If we're into and cliches, and, he, and if there were a weather map where where there were, where there were like Storm Agnes, like you know, Frank is. <laughs> The, the, the Frank, I think he's Storm Vernon. Anti-Cyclone Frank has now blown into central <laughs> Portugal for the weekend, right? 
<laughs> yeah, but he's great. He's great. He's very touchy feely though. He, did you, you are know, you not are you not appreciating that? No. As well, a I've, British person. No, as a British person because he's not got a good no, sense of boundaries. It's gonna amaze you this is gonna amaze you that okay. I, I can hook in with Frank because yeah. as a British person I, I kind of grew up in a school, inner city school where I was pretty much the only white kid in the class. Wow. So I've learned and Britishness, the boundaries, and, and I'm talking about being tactile now. Oh, un-Britishness, okay. Un-Britishness yeah, right. is that you can you can touch people, you can hold them, you can hug them and give them a kiss, and yeah, you know, and not feel bad about it. Oh, okay, right. Okay, okay. as and British not expect, people, and not expect, and not expect, a, expect a, a to be court, sued. A court appearance, fairly <laughs> <laughs> soon after. Exactly, okay. exactly. And what he reminds you of that. Frank takes me back to those days. Does he? He really does, yeah. Of unbounded familiarity. If you call well, it, no, we? I mean, uh, I mean, for instance, I learned to sing. And it's very important because there, there were a lot of black wow. people um, and, and Afro-Caribbean people in my school. Wow, okay. If I didn't sing, uh, this was bad. If you didn't, you'd have, you'd have been an outcast of the social norms. Yeah, well, well, let's leave it at like outcast, yeah. And did you sing then? Did you did you get? What were you in a choir or did you? What no, happened? No, did you no, join no. a band? What happened? Uh, you start going to church. What happened? Yeah, like like for instance, they would sing like, "Hey, girl, don't bother me. Right, hey, yeah. girl, don't bother me. Don't bother me now. You can still stay away. I'm you haven't yet. lost it. You have not lost <laughs> it. Right. Well, the thing is, right, you know, you learned to to kind of fit in. I, in I've in. got it. I, I'm get, I mean, this is nothing to do with Portugal beer festivals or where we are, but I'm in, thoroughly enjoying the conversation, which has been brought on by the fact that we're in Portugal at a beer festival. And I'm getting this sense of how in that beautiful time that you speak, I mean, it may not have been beautiful at the time, but it you've was got, beautiful. You've got a many, gift. Many, many parts of it. You've got beautiful. a gift. You overcame your Britishness. You've got to over- and became. You've got to take expressive. the leap. Yes. And that when you and come you here, did, didn't you? When you come to Portugal. Okay, I'm life in the analogy. Okay, so it was. This is a bit like you, when you're at school, you're now in a new culture where you either say, "No, I'm sorry, I'm British, I don't do that," or you go with it. Well, you and you, you've gone with it. You jump in. Yeah, and, and if you, do, you, do you think you've done that here in Portugal? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, you've yeah. got to. I mean, what you've got to understand about the Portuguese is that they are quite, you know, sort of family orientated. Yeah, and they're quite insular, but respect that. Yes, and don't you know think that they could just go throw the door open and yeah, come round every every hour of the day or whatever. It's yeah. not going to happen. Yeah, right. But I, I quite, I kind of like that. Dis- yeah, yeah, you know? I've got that. But, but they, when you're in, you're in. You're in, and you are here, and you get on with them, and you joke, and you laugh, and you try the language, and it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, and this this thing tonight is the epitome of that, I would say, isn't it? This this is the, the, the we are here enjoying the reality of what you're talking yeah, about. Because the there's concept. a lot there's a lot of people here from Europe. There's a lot of people here from that. You know, throughout the world, but also what, what like nationalities Portuguese. have you met tonight? Oh, well, I've met British and Irish and British. No, there's a there's a lot Portuguese, there's Canadian, Germans, Texan. Canadians. Uh, is that a nationality? Texan. Well, obviously, Actually, te- Texan people believe yeah, that is, is a nationality. Is. I think, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. offense. Yeah, yeah, but no. The, the message is to kind of like come in and enjoy it, dip into it, but, and have some confidence try to build your I don't know, your attitude of mixing and 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 what have you got to lose yeah lower the drawbridge lower the drawbridge cross yeah. the drawbridge yeah, yeah. drop the suit of Up, armor get your, the arrow lift your portcullis <laughs> you lift your portcullis <laughs> <Right. And laughs> you've got to enjoy it. situations like this and uh, you know a golden, really. I mean, uh, you're like, right. This, they, 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 it, he's fantastic. done it. He's pulled it off. I mean, yeah, it, it's just um, a fantastic show. Um, we've got the the food. We've got the chat. Well, we did have the, the food. Meat. Yeah, we did have it. But, yeah. you know, this is what Portugal's about. Yeah. It's yeah. like kind of slowing down, mm-hmm. enjoying yourself, taking time, taking a little bit of confidence, taking the jump. Yeah. You know, enjoying the vibe. 
And, and based on your experience of Portugal then, can I ask a little bit of advice from you? Mm -hmm. I'm, a, Certainly. I'm a little bit worried. Um, Frank and I, as, as I think most people know, oh, are, are sharing a twin room tonight. Yeah, be worried. Uh, and you were the, <laughs> no, That's not the bit I'm worried about. Yeah, he's very touchy feely, <laughs> as you said, as you mentioned. Yeah. And um, he, it, when he met our host, he said, "You look like a bit of a pervert." Yeah. I don't even know if he said a bit. He's I brave, think he though, wasn't said, he? I mean, but you think that was a bold move? I think it was a bold move. How should I handle that? When, uh, I don't. I don't really. Frankie. Frankie's. Uh, just let Frank be what Frank is. You no, know? I'm, more, no said, I'm talking about the host, not Frank. Uh, you mean explain to the host some well, make some I mean, kind of excuse or something for Frank? Yeah. It oh, may be, sticky or... wicked there. <laughs> I can see I'm not going to get any help from you. About <laughs> um, this. Right, okay. well, I'm on my own. Is that what you? Well, how could you explain that? I mean, you just say he's. A I bit know of a my guy, friend said you look like a pervert, but. But, but did the guy uh, shrink from it? Did the guy not like it? He he raised his game, came up with a few responses. And... Like, I can assure you I'm not a pervert. Yeah. I think that's what he said, wasn't <laughs> it, it? Honestly, it was really snappy. I can assure you I'm not a pervert. <laughs> right. Honestly, the way, the pacing, the comedic timing was fabulous. So you think, basically, you think I'm okay? <laughs> yeah. Now, with Frank, you just got to tell him, you know. You just got to lay the law enough, down. Yeah, enough. that's my bed. Get over there. <laughs> oh, I see, right. I, I, I get a sense that because he's very touchy feely and friendly. <laughs> you played this out in your own mind as though you were me tonight. Well, I'll, yeah, you never know what. You if always... you could ring me in the morning, I'd, I'd be great. <laughs> well, what for some counselling? <laughs> I'm not in. liking the way this is <laughs> sounding. <laughs> if we could check in tomorrow, that would be. There's be... the guy. If we if we um, if we could check in tomorrow, that'd be great. But yeah, thank you so much for chatting. And um, you're very welcome, Terence Austin, artist. That's with one R, Terence Austin, artist. I think so. I, you, what you've got to remember is I'm dyslexic, so it could <laughs> it could. So you you thought about twenty seven twenty seven <laughs> different domains. I, yeah, yeah. To, to, for every eventuality. <laughs> thank right. God for spell checker. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a snappy anagram of artist. Boy, <laughs> trappist. Artist. So if you if you search for Terence, yeah, if you search for Terence Austin, it's James Galway. Thank you very much. Trappist. <laughs> artist. <laughs> You'll find don't, him. Don't, you'll you'll <laughs> find him in the yellow pages somewhere. <laughs> he was making a fairly good living as an artist, but then he had to buy a hundred domains so that people people could find his work. Which cut the profit margins a little bit. Right. Okay, mate. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All I right. don't know what I've done, but I've got two drinks. You, I've what, been given some money. And whatever you're doing, keep some doing real it. Real soul searching questions. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> whatever it is you're doing, keep doing it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I think I might play some vibes in the background. Please, because I, I need a rest. The, <laughs> yeah, me too. We'll tell the Honestly, music. my bro blood pressure. I'll turn our mics Frank down pressure. and we'll play a bit of music and we'll just have the camera run for a little while. Why and, not? Uh, and, and just keep a, a, a view on this beautiful evening here in central Portugal. Oh, Gerard, great please job. Please. See you there, mate. Okay. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Goodbye, everybody. Who knew? Who knew it could be so much fun being at a beer festival in, in uh, I was going to say South America. I don't know why. Yeah, you're done. You're do your work here is done, Terence. Go drink all your drinks and spend your money. <laughs> uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just put a bit of music on. And I'm going to leave the, um, the vibes, the atmosphere of central Portugal um, in the background for you as well. So check it out. <laughs> 